Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 17 of this journey to the Ultimate Ultimate Team. And as you guys can see, we're going into a watch list, and I went and picked up, a hundred, I think it was 10k worth of consumables, so loads of fitness cards for 150, um, some squad morales, squad fitnesses, some contracts, and some formation cards. And I did ask you guys in the last episode whether we should go and make a Brazilian team in what formation, and you guys all suggested using the 352. So we're going to be going with that. I do thank all you guys for your feedback. As you guys know, I do check everyone's comments and reply to you guys and I thank you guys for your feedback as it does mean a lot it does help the series and I also did say that in my um, giveaway where, where we're going to be doing the giveaway on the 25th Champions League final um, active subscribers are going to be entered in that automatically so I don't know the prizes in that might go up to 50k per player um, per, per subscriber so I don't know we're going to see how that goes I'm going to see how much gameplay I can get in and also how many how many more coins I can add into that tally because now I'm from I think it's from Wednesday I'm going to be playing continuously and we're going to see how many coins I can make for the PS3 subscribers because I did say 40k but I want to make it up to 100k to be a bit more fun so uh, 100k it'll be 200k and 100k if I can make more coins we're going to go and in this episode guys I'm going to ask you the question of the day at the end of the video so if you can please do stay towards the end of the video as your feedback will be appreciated by me a lot and it will help me out before making the next video because I'm planning to make the video after getting all the feedback so it does really depend on you guys um, another thing guys is I'm not too sure if these videos are hitting sub boxes so if you can please leave uh, if it is hitting your sub boxes just like yes or no if it is hitting your sub boxes and no if it's not so yeah that'll be more easier for me but gonna go and change all the fitnesses of our players they all look very tired and exhausted after really running as fast as they can and guys as you know if your fitness is low your players will not perform in comparison to defenders and you'll probably find Murtasaka running faster than your Doombia so you don't want that happening on the field so to avoid the humiliation we're going to apply some fitness cards not going to cost us very much but uh, we're going to keep the squad fitness for actually trading possibly later or if we need it very later on in the series and probably pick up some more but now I'm going to go pick up my Brazilian team and I'm going to pick them up one by one. So after a game, pick up some players. After a game, pick up some more players. And I'm also going to need to do an... Oh, I forgot about this. We need to do an upgrade on our center, um, a center defensive mid. A subscriber rec recommended me to pick up Kabai from Newcastle. So I'm going to go and see if I can pick him up possibly in the next episode and have him there as well. So as you guys know, I do read all the feedback, all the comments, and I do take everything into consideration. I believe a subscriber also asked me to use a 5-back formation, so I'm planning to actually use that a 5-back formation, I'm planning to use all 3 5-back formations very soon, so you got to let me uh, know, um, I'm going to be doing a different nationality or a different league, you got to let me know what sort of uh, nationality or league you guys would like to see a 5-back in, and I'll break it down, the benefits and disadvantages with using a 5-back formation, and I think there's a lot of benefits with it, it's just a lot of people don't know how to use it effectively, and a lot of YouTubers complain that they are very deadly, but if you guys know how to break it down like I did in one of the earlier episodes of the journey series I can show you guys how to break it down very very easily and you'll pretty much leave the five back formation being a two back formation after you play really effectively so I think a lot of youtubers don't really understand how to do the passing game to destroy the five back formation but I will cover that guys so you will see that in the video so we're gonna go into the seasons I want to play the seasons I really want to win my objectives I think a subscriber even sent me a message of this win the division one title and win the gold cup title and then start playing your subscribers on this one so we'll see how that goes if I do win both of those very soon I'm planning to do those before June and then um, also planning to buy a lot of more players but anyway we come up against our first opponent over here Lance Butners and he has a Bundesliga 442 team which looks predominantly looks like a Bayern Munich team with a Dortmund team so a final or Champions League final team with uh, Schürrle, Erschwein and Farfan over there so not too bad looking quite strong but uh, as you guys know I like to test out my long shots try to have a shot from anywhere if I can and it gets saved but Jovinio gonna find Dumbia and did you guys see that nice run by Dumbia he actually moved away from the two defenders into a space and managed to finish that so take your time when you go for those shots or when you're gonna go passing because you'll notice players actually do get in but as you can see halftime stats that's never let him touch my goal. I hate letting opponents get a shot on my goal. A few step overs from Doombia in the second half, near to the 80th minute. Gonna get in free, get the ball to Kone, gonna go for a nice back heel, but not gonna happen. And uh, we're gonna have to take the goal over there, 2 0 in the 80th minute. Nowhere was being an absolute nightmare. He was not letting me get anything against him, and any chance I got had to take it. So. 
2-0 it is over there, and uh, I think we pick up the three points from here. As you can see, I only let him have two shots on my goal, and they were both from out the box. So, never wanted him to really get into my box, because if I did let him, he would probably have scored. So, we're on 12 points now. I think we're six, no, three wins off the title. So, yeah, three wins, and how many games do we have remaining? I think we have five games remaining, so... Not too bad at the minute. Getting outbid on a lot of Brazilians. So what I actually did is I'm going to cut the part out where I actually want all the whole team. And you guys will see that in just a sec. But another way, guys, of buying your teams, and I'm just going to explain this to you because it's a very great tip for buying your new teams, is what I do is I sometimes buy players out of formation. And as you can see in the 3-5-2, center defensive mids, uh, sorry, center backs will be a lot more because Brazilian center backs in the 3-5-2 cost almost up to 3k each so uh, I'll show you guys some examples of that in just a sec but we're gonna go and uh, what do we do here we go and buy the Brazilian teams there on the bench as you can see some of them out of formation and uh, I'll show you guys the prices of them in a sec so what I'm doing I'm gonna apply the consumables the 3-5-2s which I all sent to the club we sent them to the club and now they're chilling out there so yeah I'm gonna go and apply some consumables over there to them make sure they're all in formation and then what we'll do is give them a squad morale because they probably have only a very low or medium or high morale. So we want to have that very high morale so they don't have any issues on the field. And also some of them don't have 99 fitness. So I'm, I'm very fussy about that, guys. As you can see, Carlos Awada, 80. want him to have 99 so um, he's able to actually utilize that pace on the field. And also try a bit of skills. I'll try, try doing a lot more skills as we win more of the competitions. And if we win the gold pack and get a team of the season player, by all means, that will be great stuff. So, going into the next game of the seasons, and we come up against an opponent called Staffy Ball. He has a which team does he have? He's got a 4 3 1 2 British Premier League, and he's got Nani as a center mid, which is a questionable move, which I'd say, and Podolski as a center attacking mid. So I do know Podolski has got great. Um, long shots, and he's got Czech as a goalkeeper with a stat booster. But Dumbia going to make some space, get into there, try a shot against Czech, and Kone going to be able to out-jump a goalkeeper. I've rarely seen that in FIFA, but uh, hey, that's a great thing that's happening because uh, we take the lead over there, and straight away from his kickoff, he tries to go running straight at me. A big mistake, giving me too much space here. Dumbia going to take a shot from out the box and finish it to make it 2-0. So 19 minutes in, we're 2-0 up, and I was hoping this guy would rage quit. But uh, it wasn't the case. <laughs> I expect other people, a lot of people to rage quit. So um, 11 shots compared to his two. We're going to start the second half with a corner. Bring our player in to make him think we're going to go in. And actually it leaves his center back over there. Not marking Sacco effectively. And he's just going to take the header. And I call that the dummy. It works quite effectively at the best of times. So 3-0 up. And eventually Torres is going to find Tevez at the back post for a little header and dink it the back of the net. And then finally Nani. I'm not marking him effectively. I know my marking was really off there. I was trying to mark his cutback. But he went for the goal and uh, the game did end over there, guys. 3-2. So pick up another victory in Division 1. I think we now need two more victories to get that title out of four games. Just show you guys some of the stats over there. We still had good possession. But I'm not really concerned. A lot of YouTubers are concerned with possession. I don't really mind that. I just mainly want the shots on target. So, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, uh, two wins needed to get that title and get that goal pack. So we came into online tournaments, came here and saw that cup. And I said, I already just made a Brazilian team. So I'm not going to go back and make a premiership team. Might do that after I've won the gold cup or after I won a couple um couple matches and won that Division 1 title. Division 1 is mainly my main priority because it's 8,000 coins, but um, at the moment we'll just wait till that happens. And I have one, for those of you guys who don't know what that badge is, I actually won it on my main account and it is a Manchester United badge, so nothing too big there guys, don't worry. <laughs> you can go buy that for 200 coins. Um, I thought it was going to be some sort of special competition or some special prize but it wasn't it was just a Manchester United badge I think that's because they won um, the British Premier League so that's why they're giving the badge away but this is the Brazilian team as it looks at the minute I'll go through some of the players prices and you'll see that right now so Julio Cesar 1400 Santana dead a we got for 900 coins but if you add 300 consumable uh, of the fit for the formation card take his new value to 1200 and then compare that to his value in the market at the moment which is 2500 I'm making a saving of um, 1,200 or 1,300. 
So it's quite good over there. We're going to go search our game. And as you guys saw, I put my other team on the bench so their fitness goes up during the game whilst they're sitting there. Come up against Kelly Boy and he has a French team. Now these are the teams that actually kind of scare me because they're not rare players but they play really, really well. So you guys see he's got Cissé up front, Sissoko and Kabai. We're going to take a little bit of a corner with a custom tactic and header it into the back of the net using the condition slightly as um, sometimes the ball moves a bit quicker on the floor. So we'll, I'll show you guys talk to you about that a bit more. I've never really played too many games on snow. And as you see, for some reason, he scores a goal in the second half, making it 1-1, which was quite irritating. And somewhere the second first half stats disappeared. But I said, you know, guys, let's have a bit of skill with Rabine. Going to go for the scoop. And then we're going to work our way in. Go with the chop, not the Magidi. And uh, he gets tackled over there. But Pierre, the center defensive mid, going to take a really powerful shot and nail it into the back of the net to give us the lead of 2-1, breaking that one old deadlock. And we're going to go. And the second half, as a full-time, Close to full time, Pato going to try scaling up the keeper with a step over and a ball roll. And uh, the keeper just makes a big mistake. We're going to say AVJV into that corner and it is finished. So that's how the game will end, guys. 3-1. So the question, guys, of the day is, should I play a cup match uh, next game or should we start it with the seasons and try winning that title? It's up to you guys. Let me know down below and uh, your feedback will be really appreciated by me. So we wrap that up over there, guys. We're going to be next game. If we do next play the next game, it will be in the quarterfinals. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe. And this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.